Hey, welcome back everybody. So I wanted to do this quick video here. Um, some people asked uh, a couple questions on Instagram Live the other night about what software I use for editing. And um, there's always a constant debate between Lightroom and Capture One. I chose Lightroom many years ago and I stuck with it um, only because for me the workflow is fast and easy. And it's just something I'm used to. And I've also developed a lot of presets that work with uh, Lightroom. So that was my main reason for sticking with Lightroom. I've never really had a problem with uh, files, specifically using Fujifilm files. Um, so what I wanted to do today is uh, edit one photo for you um, that I took a little while ago uh, of my daughter when she was a little bit younger. And that was using the um, Fujifilm GFX 50S with a... Uh, adapted Canon 85 millimeter 1.2 lens. A um, little bit of an odd combination, but really cool effects, really cool results. And um, I'm going to show you that image in a second. And we're just going to go through a live edit from start to finish, how I would kind of push this file through. Because a lot of people had questions on um, how to, you know, um, sharpen, how to color grade and, and things of that nature. I'm not going to go through a full color grade. I'm going to go through um, the edit using one of my presets from my Mac collection, which is available on my website, but that's not what this is about. This is about you just showing me my work. Uh, this is about me just showing you my workflow and how I go about things. So let me switch over to uh, screen and capture. So here's the Lightroom module right here, and this is the picture of my daughter. Again, this is using the uh, Fujifilm uh, GFX 50s with a Canon 85 millimeter 1.2, and I'm using that with an adapter, uh, the TechArt AF adapter. So it is full AF, and you get facial and eye tracking as well with that. So again, right off the bat, um, this was an image taken uh, ISO 400. Uh, you can see one two hundredth of a second, 85 millimeter, 1.2 on the GFX. You can see the file up here on the left hand uh, corner. And it's a RAF file. And so now this is just natural light uh, in front of our window, in front of a spare room that we have in the front of the house. So I'm just going to go through this file and I'm going to show you how I would kind of, uh, you know, take care of all the things that I want to take care of to present this file as a final image. So right off the bat, I'm going to see if auto does anything for the image and it really doesn't. Um, there's really nothing to do with that. So I'm going to go in, I'm just going to crop this out real quick. I'm going to even her a little bit more. I'm going to bring this down just to get rid of this nonsense in the back. And I'm going to take out this little area off to the left here of the window. And you'll notice right off the bat when I kind of reconfigure this image, if I use my grid lines, you can see that it's right across her eyes. And that's kind of where you want your focal point to be, um, you know, using rule of thirds and whatnot. So right off the bat, that's where I'm going to keep that. And that's the image that we're going to start with. Right off the bat, I'm going to use one of my favorites. I'm going to go over to my presets right here. And uh, let me, you know what? Let me get myself off the screen here. So we'll go to screen only. So now you can see the full panel. I'm going to use my Mac Collection 4. And this was from my um, Mac presets that are on my website right now. And I'm immediately just going to lay that over. And right off the bat, you can see it gives me a really nice color, really nice um, fall off. In the shadows, uh, you can see this really nice matte tone. Uh, it's sharp where it needs to be, but it's very subtle and very calming on the outside of the image and spe specifically in the shadows. So right off the bat, I like where the exposure is. I'm going to really quick just fix some of these blemishes. I'm going to go one to one on this. I'm going to pull up my file and I'm just going to get rid of like, you know, she's a little acme spot right here. Just get rid of that. There's one right here. Uh, maybe this little one right here near her nose. And maybe this little dot right here. Just get rid of that. Clean up the file a little bit. All right, I'm going to go back out. And right off the bat, I'm going to bring up my shadows just a little bit. And just so I can see a little bit more of her eye area over here. I don't want it to be, you know, so dark where it's like this. I want to 
I want to see it a little bit more. I'm going to bring maybe the highlights down a little bit, not too much. Whites, I'm going to bring them down just a little, and I'm going to bring my blacks up just a little bit. Right to about there, let me see. Yeah, I'm going to bring the blacks up right about there. My contrast, I'm going to bring that down just a little bit, get more of that matte look, more of... Um, more of a softening between the highlights and uh, shadows. So I'm gonna bring the, the, the contrast down just a little bit, probably around negative 12 on that, not a big deal. Maybe bring my texture up a little bit just to give a little bit of crunch where uh, the sharpening is on the highlights. And I'm not gonna do anything. I might bring my vibrance just up a little bit, 24 on that, 27, sorry. So that's where it is right now. I'm not going to mess anything with the tone curve because I've already added this matte feel uh, on the tone curve. But if you want to, if you want to mimic this softening and matte feel of the shadows, all you really have to do is bring up your blacks and your darks with putting a subtle curve on the on the bottom end of your S curve here and swooping it up. Um, I see a little hair right here. I'm going to go in and I'm going to edit that out. Um, that down just get this off of her uh, shirt another one here and this little thing here not a big deal but just get rid of it and get back out of this and I'm gonna go down I'm gonna leave everything else where it is now people asked me the other day on sharpening how I sharpen um, the way I sharpen is I'll put the amount all the way up to 150. Now, I'm not going to leave it that way. I'm going to go down to masking. I'm going to hit Alt or Option. Click my slider. And I'll slide that all the way up to the left or um, to the right until I get exactly what I want sharpened. So I'm not going to leave it here. It's going to be way too strong okay I'm gonna bring it all the way down so all I really want to see sharpened is what's highlighted so you can see right now her shoulder her ear her hair area like near her bangs and her her eye that's most closest to the camera so right about here maybe even a little less that's what we're gonna leave sharpened now that's a mask so anything that you see in white is gonna add the sharpening to and that's where I'm gonna leave it um, can you see the difference on it? You can. Now, I don't that's so subtle, but that's without any sharpening. And here's with the sharpening added. It brings out a lot in her eyes and her, and her bangs. So that's, that's kind of where I leave that. I'll go down to uh, vignette. And again, some people will just throw a really strong vignette on it. And you're going to get this effect. And it's, it's not going to look good. Not in my opinion. If that's the look you're going for, that's fine. What I tend to do is I'll bring my vignette down around 10, 15. This one's going to be 12. I'll take my midpoint and I'll bring it all the way to the right. Or uh, I'm sorry, to the left. So now what that's doing is that's bringing the vignette all the way into the center. Okay, if I bring it all the way this way, you'll see it it's really doesn't really add much. I bring it all the way to the left, it adds that vignette. What I'll do is I'll feather, 100% feather it out. I want it soft. And the highlights, I'll always take those all the way over to the right as well. And then, if I need to, I'll go back in and I'll add the vignette amount again to see where I want to put it. And right about there is probably subtle enough where if I show it to you off, no vignette, vignette and it just adds a little something to it now you can get away with this being the final image and it would be fine um, it would look great however um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little something to her eye and I'm going to go back in to the eye area and I'm going to use a brush tool and I'm going to go into exposure 
going to bump the exposure up just a little bit. I'm going to bring my shadows up just a little bit. And because her eyes are brown, I'm going to add a little bit of warmth to that. And I'm going to bring my brush real little and I'm going to hit these highlighted areas here. Okay. Hit this one a little bit too, but this one's really going to be where it makes uh, the most sense. And then if I want, I can bring them up a little bit. I'm not going to bring them up all the way and, you know, give the kid vampire eyes. That's not going to work. I'm going to bring them down, 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 down. Bring up my shadows a little bit. And maybe bring up my whites just a little bit so I can get that in the eye. And if I turn this on and off, see the difference? Dark eyes and this adds some life to them. Um, I may even want to add a little bit more. Oh, that's because the exposure slammed down on that. My bad. Right there. So again, nothing. And adding a little bit of life to the eye. So I'll close this panel down and now when I go back out you can see that right there. That would be my final edit for this image. So let me turn back on. Um, again, I'm just making this one uh, kind of short. And let me go back over to... Alright guys, so you can see we went from... Um, let me go back out. We went from an image... Uh, you know, kind of more on the uh, plain side to, you know, where we ended up with a final product. Um, and again, it didn't take that long. It took a little longer because I'm explaining things, but um, really just a few steps. In the end, that's the image that we're going with. Um, that's kind of where we ended up. And that's kind of my quick and easy way to edit. It's not that involved. Um, pretty simple, a couple little tips and tricks, and that's kind of how I do things. So if you like these videos, uh, subscribe, uh, hit the notification. Uh, you guys know what to do by now. Um, I'll post this up on my website and hopefully on my Facebook Live too. All right, uh, I'm sorry, Instagram. All right, guys, thanks. See you on the next one.